Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I've got a helper with me today because she keeps jumping into shot. So I wanted to introduce my girl Maggie, um, who I'm gonna put down now because she wants to go. Anyway, welcome back to our channel. It's Sarah here from We Are Twin Set. Thank you so much for logging back on and thank you and hello to all our new followers. We're really excited to have you guys with us. Um, so as you know, I'm one half of We Are Twin Set. I'm Sarah and my twinny Philippa is on maternity leave. So I'm holding fort at the moment and I'm doing weekly fashion, beauty, lifestyle videos every Sunday at 7.30. Now, for those of you that have been following me on Instagram, I'm going away on the 2nd of September for a week. So I've started to think about my, obviously, holiday wardrobe and what I'm going to be packing. And I am a really ruthless packer. I spent my whole kind of years ago just overpacking, packing way too much stuff, packing tops that didn't work with bottoms, packing bottoms that didn't work with tops. So now I'm all about the dresses. I only pack dresses. I'm going to pack seven dresses for the day and seven dresses for the evening. So it's super easy. There's going to be no uh, room for error just because I know what I'm going to wear in the day and what I'm going to wear in the evening. I try everything on before I pack just to make sure it fits right, that I'm still happy with it. Because I do sometimes find something that I loved last year I'm not loving this year. I just don't know why styles change slightly. So I always try everything on. I'm gonna be packing a few bags, a few accessories, um, and obviously loads of beauty products. But I am actually gonna do my accessories and beauty in an IGTV whilst I'm away. I just thought it was too much stuff to go through all in one go. So today's video is gonna be seven dresses for the day and seven dresses for the evening that I'm gonna be taking away with me. I'm not actually gonna try them on today because it's about 30 degrees. And also I felt like you'll see them on Instagram. So there's no point showing you twice. So make sure you log on to Instagram and stories whilst I'm away, because I'm gonna be sharing my daily looks. This is the rail, and as you can see, it's quite colorful. And I really have enjoyed embracing some new colors this season. I just think it's because what's been in the shops and I suppose it's been, I don't know, I've just been really pushing the boat out and I've really been enjoying it. So normally I think I would pack more of a muted palette, kind of lots more whites, beiges, and right now this is quite a colorful mix and I love it. And you know what, with a suntan, colors work really well. And maybe just as I've got older, my style's changing slightly, but I'm really happy with my looks and I'm gonna start with the daytime ones. So before I get going through the rail, I just wanted to say in the day, I love just throwing over an easy dress over a bikini, kind of caftan style or just maxi style. And I'm always about those loose cottony fabrics. I, I used to have loads of gorgeous, fancy kind of like synthetic material dresses and they stick to you and they're so horrible to get on and off. So now I'm really kind of strict about the fabrics that I buy into when I'm looking for kind of day dresses for summer holiday because I just feel it's not worth being sticky and hot and getting annoyed when you're getting dressed. First up, I want to show you this dress from Urban Outfitters. How expensive does it look? I love the colours, I love this kind of rainbow style, it's so chic, it looks really expensive. I will say though, I did something sneaky and I had a zip put in at the side. Now, I'm really funny about how things get on and off, I just, I can't bear when something's uncomfortable. And this was, there is stretch at the back, but it was quite annoying and I thought if I was putting it over a costume or a bikini it would annoy me and I, because it's so thin I thought it would be perfect for that. So I actually took it to an alteration lady um, who did that for me and you can't tell so it's so much easier to get on and off. So this from Urban Outfitters is on sale at the moment, I think it's about £40. Um, but I just loved it. I think it would go with any bikini. It's really easy, really lightweight cotton. So this is my first uh, day dress for holiday. Dress number two is this ASOS number. It's from a brand called, oh, I think it's called A&B. I've never heard of that. I featured it on a haul we did a few months ago. It was like an under 50 pound holiday beach cover up haul with Philippa. Again, I thought this was something that looked really, really expensive. It's so easy. It's literally a throw on. It's that super lightweight fabric, and I thought the pom-pom details are really, really cute. And it's a little bit sheer, which is quite nice sometimes over a bikini. Um, I have actually, well, I was actually going through my bikinis the other night, and I've noticed they're all quite dark and black, and I really like that kind of black and white, so I love having white cover-ups over a black bikini. As you can see, it's got the gold stripe running through, which is a really lovely kind of Grecian vibe. Um, and this was really reasonable. I'm, 
I fear that it's sold out on ASOS now, but I'm gonna check because sometimes they get new stock in. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this one again as I think it's really cute and it looks really expensive. Dress number three is this Misa Los Angeles dress and this is from Oxygen Boutique, which is a really gorgeous site and there's a store as well that has really gorgeous kind of range of brands and lots of American brands and like a really good edit. Um, so they kindly sent me a few bits to try for holiday. So this is from Misa and I was literally drawn to this straight away. It's actually not a colour I've really worn before, but I just loved everything about it. Look at these sleeves. They are absolutely voluminous and huge and I love them. And they've got this cute pom-pom details. It's quite sheer. So actually when you're wearing a costume, you kind of can see a bit of skin underneath, which I think is really lovely. But then you, it's kind of not sheer where you don't want people to see, which is great. Um, this is a size medium. I probably could have gone for a size small. I hadn't worn the brand before, so as I always say, I prefer to go bigger. But it's quite nice oversized. It's more of definitely more of like a caftan throw on than a dress. So I don't think this is a piece that you could wear going out if you're not if you're leaving your hotel or like going to for a drink or something. It's definitely pool beachy vibe just because of the sheer fabric. Um, but I thought it was really different and I absolutely love the colour and I'm really excited to be wearing this on holiday. So another amazing dress from the high street is this white one from Next. This is another piece we included, I think it was in like a June favourites video, I'm going to double check. Um, but I think this looks like it could be Melissa Odebash or Heidi Klein or one of those kind of expensive resort brands. But it's from Next, it was a really great price, I think it was under £40, I know I should really check the prices beforehand but I of course will link it below. And it's a really great shape. I sometimes feel, and I think I said this in the video before, that with these kind of crochet styles, they can be all a bit tight and uncomfortable, where this really skims over, it's quite fluid, um, which is great when you're wearing like a cutout material. It's long sleeve, it's kind of that 70s vibe, and it just looks really, really, really luxe on. It will look great with a tan, and this is my number four dress that's coming with me. I had to think about that one for a minute. Another day dress that I'm loving is this Zimmerman dress. Now, this was a real bargain. I got it from an outlet in Woodbury Common, Common even, when I went to New York. It was, I think, around £200, and the retail, like, full price was, like, five. 500-ish. So I was really pleased with this. It's quite sheer, so although it's long-sleeved, again, it's that lightweight fabric that's super easy, and I don't mind wearing long sleeve when I'm on holiday if, like I say, always say, it's that lightweight fabric, because it doesn't really make a difference if it's sleeveless or long sleeve if it's super kind of thin. It's a great shape, it nips you in at the middle, so that's another thing to look out for when you're wearing like the voluminous styles. I think as long as it nips you in at the waist, you can definitely work it, because sometimes like a really big sack can just be just all a bit much. These sleeves, can we just appreciate them? You'll definitely see this on the gram when I'm wearing it on holiday. And it's an amazing shape. The detail with Zimmerman is insane. Like the tassels and the sleeves and the belt. So this is my number six, five, thanks Amber, five dress for holiday that I love. Number six is another Next number. Now, I seem to love Next for swimwear, and it's definitely one of those brands that I log on to at the beginning of each season because I feel like they nail their swimwear and actually their beachwear really, really well. You would never know this is Next. It's, like I keep saying, <laughs> super lightweight. And I just think the shape and the design looks luxe. Another great detail is it's got these buttons and it kind of like a peekaboo in between. So you see a bit of skin, which again helps it give that really luxe feel. It's a simple caftan. It's great if you've got dark bikinis. I love the zebra, it's black and white. I mean, I don't need to say anymore. So I'm saving the best till last. This was my net a to sell by this season. I think every season I, I kind of buy maybe one or two pieces on sale that I've really loved full price. I have them saved in my favourites and then when they go on sale I kind of keep watching them until the price goes down. And this was one of those. It's by Dodo Bar Oil, and you know that's a brand that we really, really love. I just thought this was a great piece, but it was one of those pieces that could be worn on holiday, but also home. So some of the other pieces that I've shown you in my daytime looks are quite holiday, so they're sheer or they're really caftan-y, so you wouldn't actually really wear them at home. Whereas this, it comes with a belt, but I actually haven't got it on here at the moment. You could definitely wear it around the pool in the day to breakfast, to lunch, but then also in the city and at home as well. So it's definitely a piece that's gonna work really hard in your wardrobe. Look, the details, it's got the cutout, it's got the tassels, and it's really kind of cute all over print. It was just something really different, and I think it was about 200, again, reduced from about 550, so it's definitely not cheap, but I've got a couple of their dresses that I've worn season after season, and I always feel really great in them, so I know it's a brand that 
always makes me feel good so I don't mind kind of spending that money maybe when it's on sale because I always am drawn back to the piece each season. Okay so we're on to the evening outfits now and the sleeper dress. Sleeper is a brand that Philippa and I both absolutely love. We own a few of their dresses and we got them on Netta Porter and I've got to say this would probably be my most worn dress of the season. Every time I put it on, I just feel really, really good. It's comfortable, it's flattering, you can wear it off the shoulder, you can wear it on the shoulder, so it's kind of really full sleeved. I love this kind of red picnic blanket, but it comes in plain colours, it comes in spots, and it's that £230 price point, which obviously is not cheap for a dress, but the amount that I've worn it and the way that it makes me feel, I really feel that it's worth the money. Um, so I could not bring this on holiday. I've worn it with both flats and also kind of castanier um, espadrilles, which I think is really good when you can wear a piece dressed up and dressed down. I haven't just worn it on holiday as well, so there's definitely longevity in it, but I definitely wanted to take this on holiday with me to wear in the evening because I just feel so great in it, and I actually feel like it'll be a good first night holiday evening outfit, because I feel first night on holiday, you're kind of still getting your bearings, you, don't, you just... You don't feel tanned or you don't want to wear something that you feel really great in so I think this is a great first night outfit. Right, evening dress number two is this Caroline Constance dress from the Outnet. So I was very lucky to be able to pick a couple of pieces from the Outnet to take with me on holiday. So I love looking through their site, they've got such amazing designers at really incredible prices. So I, you know I've picked up loads of things from there in the past. Um, so this is Caroline Constance, as I said. It's not a brand I've actually worn before, but I've always loved her dresses. But I was instantly drawn to this kind of print and the shape. I love off the shoulder. And this one you can wear, like the sleeper one, on the shoulder and off the shoulder. It's nipped in at the waist, which I think is, like I said, really important when you're wearing something quite voluminous. So this is quite full, um, and it's got this pinky, greeny, orangey floral print, which is just great for summer holiday. It's quite long, that's what I will say. So for me, I definitely need to wear a heel with it, but I'm not gonna be taking any thin spindly heels on holiday. I just find them uncomfy, and obviously I'm gonna be um, walking with a buggy in the evening trying to get Lenny to sleep. So I'm probably just gonna take with me my Castanier wedges, which I find really easy and really comfy. So these will be perfect underneath. Perhaps check out the outlet for those brands that maybe you wouldn't buy full price, but obviously it's all discounted on there and they have such an incredible selection. So this is from their vacation shop at the moment, um, and I wanted to share this one with you guys. So can we please just appreciate this dress? I'm sure you're all gonna know it's by Olivia Rubin. She's a good friend of ours and we are huge Olivia Rubin fans. So this is like a sherbet dib dab dress. It's got all these tears and it's so, so, so cute. I'm so excited to wear this on holiday. I love her pieces, I feel amazing in them. I think it's the cut, it's the color, it's the design. You just don't see stuff like that around other than her. Like I feel like you really know it's one of her dresses when you see it. She is infamous for her rainbows and I think this is a really great way to do it. It's quite pared down with the pastels. It's not necessarily so out there with the bright colors. And with a tan, this is gonna look so, so good. I'd probably wear this really dressed down with flats, so it'd be definitely like a dinner dress or drinks. I do prefer to wear flats on holiday when I can, unless it's a really long dress. I just feel like, you know what, I wanna chill, I just wanna be comfortable, maybe go for a walk after dinner. So this is gonna look amazing, maybe with some embellished slides or just obviously the Hermes sandal, maybe with a little straw bag. So I wanted to show you this dress, as you will definitely be seeing it on the gram and hopefully with a suntan as well. Right, dress number four is another tear dress. So apparently that's my style of the summer and I've got another one to show you guys as well. I have never even worn anything with tears before but obviously it's a shape that's around loads at the moment. This is a black and white one from J. Crew. Now I was really chuffed with this because I'd seen this on Netta Porter and I'd seen, definitely seen it on Instagram. And I just happened to be looking on the J. Crew website and it was reduced from about 250 pounds, I think it was 63 pounds. So I picked it up, there was only a couple left in the sale so I was really thrilled with this. I absolutely love the cut. I love the shape, I love the tiered design. I would probably do this, it's slightly shorter than the Olivia Rubin one, so I think maybe like a sandal that wraps around the ankle would be quite nice because you can see your ankle. And maybe with a little clutch bag. I love black and white on holiday. Although I've got loads of colour, I feel like I need to have a couple of black and white pieces just to feel like me. But I feel like this is a really good way, summary way to do it because it's not too heavy. And another piece that can be dressed up, dressed down, but you feel really, really wow in it. And I think that's something else to mention is that on holiday, you get to dress up seven nights in a row, which you, ne which personally I never get to do here. So I love packing really wow pieces that I just never really get the chance to wear at home. So this is definitely one of those and it's super comfy as well. So this is my dress number 
four, five, four. Dress number four. Dress number five, just go with me. I know it doesn't have much hanger appeal. This is like an off the shoulder dress from Kitchery. Now Kitchery is one of those brands that's kind of premium high street. It's got some gorgeous, gorgeous designs on. And I always feel like if you want a great dress, you can find something on there. So this is from their summer collection and it's this turquoise and burgundy colorway, which is again, something I haven't seen before. It's super floaty, super 70s. I would wear it, well you do wear it off the shoulder, but you just can't see on the hanger. And it's just that great color with a tan. Another turquoise piece, like the Misa one, that I actually haven't worn that color before, but I was really drawn to this and it's just comfortable. You know, some evenings you don't want to be tight, you just want to wear something flowy. And just with the shape, it would work for a dinner, it would work for drinks, it would, it would work anywhere. So I wanted to show you guys this one because I thought it was really gorgeous and something quite different. And I think the price point is maybe about it's under a hundred pounds it's really great for a dress that looks like this because you can definitely tell it's not kind of from your high street stores it looks more luxe and the color and the shape is so gorgeous okay so another tiered dress clearly third one of the holiday that i wanted to show you is this one from pit usa it's a brand that i own a couple of pieces on and it's a real resort holiday brand you always know you're going to find something for holiday there I love this kind of corally colorway, and this actually, what's great about Pit USA, I'm interrupting myself to tell you that each of their styles comes in a few different colors. So if, for example, Peaches and For You, this comes in lilac and pale blue, and I actually really love that, because sometimes you see a shape that you like from a brand or a, or a dress that you like, but it's not quite the color that you go for. So it's great to know that this brand does their dresses in different colors. So this was um, kindly sent to me to wear um, for the trip. It's really flattering, and there's something about this tiered detail that's super flattering, because it kind of just skims over everything. So if you are conscious of tummy, or even bum, or legs, it's super flattering, and it skims over all those areas. So the only thing I will say about this one is it's quite difficult to wear a bra. I'm quite small busted, so it's not difficult for me. So if you are bigger busted, and obviously it's got the low back, I would suggest maybe getting those pads that you can stick in stick into the dress because it's very very low. I don't think you'd be able to wear a bra underneath it with it also being low at the back. But great attention to detail with these ties and it's just a great holiday piece and I'm really excited to wear this one. So this is what I would call a last night holiday piece, that colour that you're just waiting to have that tan with. So this is by Three Graces and it's got this gorgeous low back detail. It's super flowy, super easy with the spaghetti straps and it's just kind of a holiday Grecian-y goddessy. It's really fluid, really floaty. It's one of those just throw on and you feel instantly good in. Definitely a piece that's more for holiday, but I do think you could pop on a denim jacket over the top and wear it when you're here as well. So I absolutely love this colour, this kind of like, I don't know what you call this, like sunflowery yellow. A colour that, I mean, I don't own anything like this. So as I said, it's really nice to be able to push the boat out and wear some different things on holiday. The fabric is just so flowy and so easy. And this is gonna be my last night holiday piece from Three Graces and make sure you check it out on the gram. So I'm cheating, so I know I was gonna do seven days, seven dresses for the day and seven dresses for the night, but I always take like an extra white dress with me because I feel like sometimes when I'm going out in the day and my day looks are quite like see-through or easy breezy that I want something a bit more sturdy, if that makes sense. So I always take a white dress on holiday and just in case I'm not feeling anything, it would work for the day or the night or pretty much anything. So this is from Cezanne and you know how much I love Cezanne, it's my newfound love. It's just an easy white dress, it's lined and it's white so it's not see-through, which is really good. And it's just so comfortable, you can roll up in your case. So guys, that was my seven dresses for the day and seven dresses for the night video. I know I talked loads and I was talking in detail about each one and I promise that I will show you all the dresses on the grid. I just thought it was too much to talk and show you everything all in one go, but I wanted to show you what I'm actually packing for holiday. Um, as I said, I really try and pack ruthlessly, seven for the day, seven for the night as I find it makes life so much easier. Gonna be honest with you though, this at the moment is my final edit. However, I might chop and change slightly once I have, you know, a few more days to think about it because I'm filming this in advance, but it's gonna be going out on the Sunday before I go. So make sure you check out the looks on Instagram. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you, hopefully I'll be tanned and be back from holiday and I'll see you 7.30 next Sunday.